Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So, there's a video of a girl. She's going viral on the shade. When we're gonna just, I'm gonna play this really quick. Hopefully, like, my stream doesn't freeze. Um, that's why I'm trying to like go before like it shuts down because it's been freezing these last few times. But she's a young girl and I feel really bad for her. She went viral today and basically she's trying to get help because um, she's dating a guy and he's not paying like any of the bills. I don't know where I went. Hold on, let me put it in shade room, see if it comes up. Okay, here she is. So we're gonna watch this. This is like, this is sad. It's getting a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people are clowning her. Some people are, you know, giving her good advice. So we're gonna watch this real quick. For people in a relationship, me and, and my boyfriend, boyfriend always get in a fight over money, money bro. bro. Okay, okay. mind you, I'm, I'm not, not broke. broke. Like, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not broke. broke. I, I am broke right, right now. You know what I'm saying? But I, I make good money, money is what I'm trying to say. And all my money goes into my bills. It's just after all my money goes into my bills, I usually have nothing left. So I picked up three jobs, right? But my boyfriend didn't like that I was working in three jobs because he felt like I wasn't around my kid as much, which doesn't make any sense. But anyways, nevertheless, um. Also, um, I had to quit a third job because getting a sitter was becoming a little bit difficult because everybody started working um, in the evenings. So anyways, me and him always get an argument over cash. And mind you, I'm only ever asking for cash on my off days. Like, if I'm paid, I'm good, right? On my off days, though, I do be asking him for cash. And I'm not talking about, like, hundreds of dollars. I'm talking about 10, 20, you know, maybe 50. And it majority of the time it's to be put back into the house, right? Or it's to be put to good use. Like I'm not asking him to get my hair done. I'm not asking him to get my nails done. He doesn't even get any of that stuff done for me. Like he does none of that for me. Like if he does something for me, I have to ask for it. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't feel like that's right. And I get mad because every time I ask him for money, he wants to explode or have some type of reaction that just triggers me. And I just want to know, like, do you females ask your man for money? And how is that transaction? Like, is it a fight? Is it normal to ask your man for money? Like, how much money does he give you? You know what I'm saying? Does he treat you to get your hair and nails done? Like, my man literally does nothing but keep his money to himself. Like, and it's annoying and he's very Mr. Krabs and I don't like that. And I don't know. If that makes me sound shallow or whatever the case may be, but no, I, I want to marry a provider and I feel like providers, you know, will help out. And also, he doesn't like to talk about his finances, bro. How are we supposed to be getting married in the future if you can't even have a simple conversation about finances with me? It's always turning into I'm being money hungry. But it's like, I'm realistic, bro. We need to know our budget. How much are we able to spend? Am I wrong? Right. Okay, so that is the video went viral today on the Shade Room. And, um, you know, I've seen a lot of people, like, clowning her and saying, you know, she's stupid, she's a pygmisha. And I think, you know, you got to give people grace. You know, everybody acts like they've never been in selfish relationships, and especially when you're young. Um, what I would say to her is that you have to leave him. Um, if you're living with somebody, you know what needs to be done. You know when y'all need groceries. You know when y'all need toilet paper, when y'all need paper towels. I shouldn't even have to ask you. Like, you, like you, you, you understand that. And the problem is, is you have, like, a lot of... I feel like the roles are so reversed with men and women, like, you know, nowadays. You literally have men who want to be taken care of. They want to be the king of the living room. You know, their money is their money, but your money is supposed to be our money. You know, it's it's insane, and I just feel really bad for her. And I think, you know, one thing as women, I feel like women set the tone. 
And the problem is you have a lot of women who are so happy to have a man, you know. My man, my man, my man, my man. I, I just, I hate people like that. And my man, my man, my man. And because women are so desperate to keep a man, they're willing to take a piece of a man. So you have a woman who will work three jobs, bust their ass, you know what I'm saying, just to say that they have a man. Okay, ma, you got a man, but what kind of man do you have? Because to me, that sounds like another child. And if that's the case, you can do bad by yourself. You know, so I, I personally think that she needs to leave him. You know, because if he's keeping his money to himself, he's spending his money on himself and on other people on what he deems important. People treat you how you allow them to treat you. And if you allow them to walk on you, to take advantage of you, they're going to do just that. You know, you have a lot of men who can spot the women with low self-esteem, the women who feel like, you know, they just want a man and they're willing to put up with anything. And again, a lot of that happens when you're younger. But once you get to a certain age, you're not going to put up with this. So, you know, we got to give these young girls grace because they're still trying to figure out everything. And her situation, honestly, is more realistic than these young girls who are like, oh, yeah, I'm out here on my city girl shit, and all these guys buy me bags, and they buy me outfits. That's so much un more realistic than what this girl is going through. What this girl is going through is more realistic than this hot girl mentality. You know? So you have a lot of these girls who act like, you know, they're getting flued out, and they're getting this, this, and that. Yeah, some of them are getting that. But her situation is way more realistic, where you have a lot of young girls who are putting up with a lot of bullshit that they shouldn't put up with. You know, so, you know, a lot of these guys need to step their game up. Like, I'm so tired of the roles being reversed. And unfortunately, you know, even some older guys, they had that mentality too, where it's like they want to be taken care of, and, you know, the white man's holding me down. And that's why you find it where a lot of these older guys, they'd rather talk to young girls because they can manipulate them. And, you know, a young girl will put up with a lot more stuff than a, a grown woman who's 35 and up. They're going to hold you accountable. They expect certain things. A young girl is still trying to figure out her life. So she'll deal with a bum-ass dude who's 40, you know, who the only thing he can do is basically take her to go get her nails done. But he can't pay for anything else. So this is why I always say that you got to find people that you're equally yoked with. And when you're young, you want to be able to, like, grow with that person. You know, go to school, get y'all's degree, stack up y'all's money, figure out what you guys want to do in life. You know, where you guys want to be five years from now. You have to start, start building that in your 20s. Because I, I'm not building that with somebody at my big age. Either you're coming to the table with that or there's no conversation to be had. And that's why I was saying during when I did my live stream on the Ebony K. Williams situation, y'all can't compare what Ebony is asking for. She's in her 40s. She's not, she's not, she's a lawyer. She's worth millions of dollars. She's not trying to build up somebody. She is demanding that somebody come to the table because she's in a whole different age bracket. But when you're in your 20s, that is the time to build with somebody. And if you're with somebody and you have a child with them, and they're not trying to build. They don't want anything better for themselves. Because if a man really loves you, he's going to take care of you. He's going to make sure that you're good. Taking care of somebody and providing for somebody is not buying them red bottoms. It's not buying them Gucci bags. If you can afford to do that, great. But a real man's going to make sure that, you know what, half, at, least, at least half the bills are paid. If he can't pay the full rent, he can at least pay half the bills. He can make sure that you got gas money, the things that make a relationship go round. Stop living vicariously through these Instagram influencers and these celebrities. When you have a regular man or woman and y'all are working a regular nine to five, that is what y'all need to focus on. A lot of y'all be looking at these influencer lifestyles and be trying to compare your lifestyles to Jada Wada and, and Little Baby and Cardi B and Offset and, you know, all these celebrities. Well, they're, well, they're not, I don't know if they're together or not, child. I, I can't tell you Cardi B and Offset what they're trying to do. But you got to compare yourself to where you guys are at. But regardless, if your man works a nine to five or he's a baller, he's going to want to make sure that the household is taken care of. The fact that she's working three jobs and she still has to find a babysitter, to me, is ridiculous. Because if he can't even figure, if he's not working three jobs, why is he not able to babysit his own child? And when you have a child, you're not even babysitting. That is your child. You're raising your child. 
So I, I feel really bad for her, but you know, we, we gotta give young people grace. And I don't care if this is a young woman or a young man, we gotta give young people grace because when you're in your 20s, late 20s, you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. You're just trying to figure stuff out. So for her to come to the internet, she's at her wit's end. So to me, if you watch, if you come across this live stream, you need to leave him. He's not equally yoked with you. If anything, he's bringing you down. And what you don't want to do, ladies, I don't know her age, but I'm assuming she's like in her mid to late 20s. What you don't want to do is put up with a bunch of shit in your 20s. Crazy dudes, baby daddy drama, multiple baby daddy drama. Because then what happens is once you get into your 30s and 40s, then you're bitter. Then you're the bitter, angry 40-year-old woman who's on Facebook, you know, crying about how niggas ain't shit. No, them is the people that you attracted and you chose to spend your time with all through your 20s and 30s. So this is a time that both men and women, you need to be making your decisions now. Because you're only in your 20s for so long and then you turn around and just like that, you're in your 30s. Just like that, you're in your 40s. So even for like the young dudes, stop running after the Instagram thoughts and after, you know what I'm saying, the city girls. Try to build with the woman who wants something for herself. Don't sit here and run after a pretty face and then you got all, you know, you got, the, you turn around by the time you're 30, you got four baby mamas, you're on child support, and now you're mad, you're a red pillar. Now women ain't shit, they're all gold diggers, they want me for child support. But when you were sitting here, you know, sticking your dick and everything from the ages of 20 to 25, you can't be mad. Then now you're 40 and you owe child support and you're going through it and you have nothing to show for it. So start making decisions, smart decisions in your 20s while you're young. Because everything you do now in your 20s is going to affect you in your 30s and 40s. If nobody else is going to tell you that, I'm going to tell you that. So always think about the future, where you're going to be five, ten years from now. And if that person is not on your wavelength, if they have no goals, if they can't tell you where they see themselves five years from now, that's not who you need to be with. You want to be with somebody that you can build with when you're young, so that way y'all can look back and be like, damn, look how far we came together, you know? So, yeah, I feel bad for her, but she needs to leave him. You know, she needs to leave him. And the reason why a lot of these guys have that mentality that they don't have to do anything, that they can do the bare minimum, is because women are willing to accept that. You have women who are, as long as they get dick, they're willing to accept anything. So now you have a lot of men who feel like, I don't have to bring nothing to the table. I don't need to pay bills. Well, I'm sorry, dick don't pay the bills. I can't call the landlord and be like, I got fucked real good last night. They're going to be like, we don't care. The rent is $1,000. You either got it or you're out of here on the 5th. So I don't want to hear all that shit about you know good dick. Good dick don't pay the bills. So y'all got to be on top of these dudes, hold them accountable, and don't accept anything less. You know what I'm saying? Like I always tell young dudes, don't just be with a girl who brings you nothing but pussy and problems. It might be cute at first, but she has to bring something to the table because you can get ass anywhere. If she brings nothing to the table, that's not who you need to be with. You want to be with the woman who has herself together, who has goals, who you can see being the mother of your children. You don't want to be out here, you know what I'm saying, having a bunch of baby mamas and dealing with child support and your license being suspended. So, yeah, we, we got we, we to gotta do better. We got we to gotta do better. You know, it's just, it's really sad the things that I see going on. Like, social media has, like, literally ruined relationships because everybody's trying to live vicariously through celebrities and Instagram influencers instead of focusing on the relationship that they have at home, instead of trying to build on that and make that better. So that's my advice to her. Definitely leave these dusties alone. Leave these bitter betties alone. And get, get with people who are like-minded. You know, get with people who are, who are on something, who want more for themselves. You know what I'm saying? If the girls that you're attracting, they just want to be hot girls and, you know, they just want to, you know, sell it to the highest bidder, then you need to start reevaluating your energy. If the men you're attracting are nothing but dusties who bring nothing to the table, who just want to move in with you after only knowing you for a month, you got to reevaluate the type of energy that you're putting out there. You got to reevaluate where you're going to go meet these people. So that's just my advice, you know what I'm saying? 
for men and women. I don't think anybody needs to settle. Because again, you don't wanna look back in your late 30s and 40s and now you're angry and you're red pilled and you know you also got the bitter betty brigade you know who sit around all day you know black men ain't shit fuck black men abort black babies and all this weird stuff a lot of those are just bitter women you know what i'm saying they made horrible decisions in their life and now they want to project and then a lot of these red pillars are bitter old men who are upset they made horrible choices in men i mean in women you know so now they want to project don't be like either. Make smart decisions now, cause life is too short. So if you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.